So I got an article this morning about how R. Kelly's music sales and his streams have spiked substantially since the release of Surviving R. Kelly docuseries. And I'm having a really difficult time understanding why. But I think it's important that I understand why. I really would like for you guys to help me understand what I'm missing. Even if, it, even if I'm missing something that um, I don't necessarily agree with, I just want to understand what I'm missing. So if you could sound off below, that'd be great. And we can continue the conversation Wednesday at 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific time on our Facebook Live. Um, and I really don't want to believe that it's because black girls don't matter enough. Or is that the reason? So let me know. Happy Sunday. Going out my timeline, I'm seeing this surviving R. Kelly shit. First of all, what type of title is that anyway? Y'all act like this nigga a hurricane or a tornado or some shit. They never let black icons and legends just have a clean slate. It's always some bullshit. Michael Jackson, Touch Lip Boys, Whitney Houston, a crackhead, Bill Cosby, drug bitches. But the Kardashian daddy cut his whole dick off and making millions of dollars for doing this shit. Now, I'm not saying these women are lying or telling the truth. All I'm saying is sometimes we got to question the motive. Why now? When this nigga was in the prime of his career, all you motherfuckers were shaking a tail feather with him. Nobody called the police. But he brainwashed me. Motherfucker, it's your brain. How you gonna get mad because you let a motherfucker brainwash some shit that belong to you? This nigga's in the interview. I seen him at high schools every day. Let me tell you something. If I seen a grown man up at a high school every day that didn't have a kid that went there, I would have whooped his ass myself. Own up to the part that you play in this shit.